Hi everyone! Hello, hello! <laughs> Tracy here with BibleDrivenMinistries.com and I want to welcome you to our Faith Inspirations February Open Studio. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're joining me today, put your name in the comments so I can say hi. And I'm going to go ahead and open up Facebook and make sure that we're live there too. I think we are live on both YouTube and Facebook. Um, but let me just double check and make sure we're good. <laughs> Hold please. Hold please. Okay. Yep. It does look like we're live on Facebook. And let me just double check on YouTube as well. Oh, good. It does look like you guys are joining me and you are saying hi. So I think we're all working. Uh, let me just double check YouTube really quickly. And then we'll get started. So if you are joining me, I'm going to make it really simple this month. We're going to do washi tape and I'm really going to just use the kit unless you guys decide that, you know, you want me to try something else. I'm happy to. So I suspect we'll have a little bit of extra time during um, our live. So let me just double check and make sure that we are good and live. Yep, we are on YouTube as well. So thank you guys so much for for um, telling me that you're you're seeing everything and we're good to go. So yay, <laughs> welcome, it's February. Uh, it's so funny, Shallon was saying that January was the longest year. <laughs> you know, I didn't think it was. I thought it went by rather quickly for me. So um, I am just delighted to be here with you. I'm super excited as we talk about how um, we plan our course, but God directs our steps. That's where we are in Faith Inspirations. Um, and yeah, I've been seeing a lot of your work in the, in the community, our Faith Inspirations member community, and I just am delighted to see all of your beautiful work and worship and praise to the Lord. So thank you so much for just inspiring me and encouraging me <laughs> and those around you. So yeah, let me know where you are from here. I'm seeing, um, saying you guys say hi. I'm saying hi back. <laughs> but where are you joining me uh, with me? Where are you joining me uh, today? Are you um, in Arizona like I am, where it is very nice and warm? Or are you uh, in the colder parts of this world? Let me know also in the comments. And if you're new, um, welcome to my new friends. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and a like if you're enjoying this content, you like us to continue to do it. I do appreciate it and it does help with the social media people. <laughs> So let's see, Woodlands, Texas, Mi Michigan. Okay, so Texas is, is is it warm there right now like it is in Arizona? Because it's like 70 something here. I'm gonna just make sure I can see all of the comments too here in Faith Inspirations. There we go. Ah, now I can see you guys. It's so funny on my screen. I can sometimes see the names and sometimes I can't. Springtime weather. Yeah, I know. In Arizona, it's been warm too. And so our bok choy, because we were growing some bok choy, started to um, go to seed. And so we had to harvest it immediately. Yeah, because it got really cold and then it got warm. And I think it's going to get colder here. So Washington State, Deborah, um, sunshine for a few minutes. <laughs> That's so funny. Winston, um, Darlene's in Winston. Nice to see you there. Hi, Deborah. Good to see you. Oh, yes. It has been beautiful lately. All right. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the kit looks like this month. So I'll turn my camera around so you can see it. Then we will pray and then we'll do our challenge together, which I think will be super quick. Again, the mini challenge this month. So last month we didn't make a challenge. So big kit, a little more work right? Little different techniques and stuff. Mini kit is every even month. And that is just a quick challenge, something that you can do quick and easy. Um, and that way you can do both if in case you're, um, <laughs> in case you're behind, <laughs> which you're never behind. You're never behind. But I know that sometimes, uh, it, during the past, it, it, it did get a little bit overwhelming doing it every month. So we went mega kit in the odd months, mini kit in the even months to make things super simple and easy. And hopefully you enjoy that. So let me go ahead and flip my camera around. You can see what is going on on my desk here. So this month where our focus first is going to be Proverbs 16, 9. And that is a man's heart plans his course, but Yahweh directs his steps. Our technique is going to be washi tape. So we're going to be using all things washi tape. So you can use washi tape that you have. If maybe you have a stash, this is my stash. I used to have a ton of washi tape, but I really thinned it down when I moved a couple years ago. So now I just have this case. And if it doesn't fit in this case, then I 
like I don't have it. So I will take things out and donate them and um, put new ones in here. But I, I do have some extra space, it looks like. So I could get a couple more rolls in there. <laughs> so that's my washi tape. But for our kit today, I'm just going to use the washi tape that is included in the kit itself. That way, if you don't have washi tape, you can just follow along with what I'm doing. Um, so our mini challenge is this. It says use washi tape in any way in your faith art this month. Also consider doing this challenge outside your faith art journal. Journal, Perhaps you could try it in your home decor. I know that Lori did a video where she is showing how to make a very beautiful washi tape. And she's using the girl from last month in that video. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. Um, and you can put it on craft wood. You could put it on a playing card. You could put it on just anything you maybe you've never experimented with before so today i'm going to just be using my journal i'm going to be using the last page of my journal it looks like i'm going to finish this one and then i'm going to have to make a new one so this is the first page our key is here so tapestry wine cameo pink and sweet potato are colors if you want to use them um, again since i'll just be using the washi that's including it with a kit i'm not going to grab any paint today and then we have our word fetty. So our word fetty is our verse. So it just says a man's heart plans his course, but Yahweh directs his steps. And then I have some additional additional words here. Let God direct your steps. This one says, God, please direct my step steps. This one says, God, I want your will, not mine. One step at a time, put one foot in front of the other and help me with my heart, O Lord. So those are the wash, the word fetties that you can use. And then your printable also includes this washi tape as well for you to use. Now, I did print mine out on sticker paper. So what I did was I printed it out <clears throat> on my Cricut machine, my new Cricut machine that I'm getting used to using. And then I also resized it and made a bunch of little tiny ones too, which I thought were super cute. So I did that as well. So you can do that if you have a machine, like a Silhouette machine, or a Cricut machine. For Cricut, you just have to convert it to a PNG. Uh, the way I do that, real quickly, I'll just show you if I can. Can I show you this? Let me see if I can show you this real quick. So I just go to, see, I just go to this site that says PDF to PNG, and then I upload my file, and then I can download it as a PNG. So that is what I do. And then for those of you guys who are new, I just want to also let you know that to get your printables, you just go to your faithinspirations.com website. And if you just want the free, if you're not a member and you just want the free challenge card, you just go to the blog and you can just download, you can see the videos and then you can just download the challenge card. But if you are a member of our community, um, thank you so much for supporting our ministry. You can go to challenges here. Hold on one second. Let's, it's thinking. There we go. Okay. And so then you can actually see any of the challenges you want and then um, click fe February. And if ever the website is slow, just give it a little bit of patience because it, it needs an extra love sometimes. Um, so then you can see the challenge here. And then here's where you'll download the kit that we're looking at today, as well as the card. So that's where you can find that. And of course, your bonus library printables will be under library. And this month we have the Heart Footprints Clip Art, which is super cute. And I'm going to be using it today in our challenge as well. So you just click on that and then you can download it as a PDF if you want to. That's what I used or you can download it as a PNG file. So that is what I do. And that's how you can navigate all the things. So let's go back here so I can, <laughs> so I can, oh, how do I get back to you? There we go. <laughs> here I am, I'm back. So that is how I printed, I just, um, downloaded mine I put it in as a PNG and then I was able to resize it however I wanted to and I printed out on my Cricut so that's that and then of course you have your library item this month we are using the heart footprints so I have printed mine out as well on sticker paper I just use plain um, here mine, mine are right here I just use plain uh, shipping label paper 
just to make things super inexpensive and accessible to everyone. So that is what I do here. All right, so let's see. Do you have any questions? Hi, Lori, good to see you guys. We'll have to see Lori's videos this month. Um, I can't wait to see uh, what you guys what you guys do this month. Oh, Deborah was saying that it's 50 degrees where she is. It's very gray in January, hasn't it been? Oh, Teresa says she's going to plan to play with the gel press this weekend. Yeah, the gel press we were focused on last month. And this month we're doing washi tape. But you can do the, the challenges anytime you want and as many times as you want. So feel free to do that. Hi, Shallon. Good to see you here, hon. Nice to see you. Okay, so that is the kit. So super easy, simple this month. Not a lot of fuss. We're going to go ahead and get started with our challenge today. So if you are joining me to do the challenge, um, I'm just going to be using my challenge card. I'm going to be using my washi and I'm going to be using my footprints um, clip art for our challenge time to today. And then I will be using my little tiny art journal that I have made. And this will probably be the last page. I might try to do something on this page and next time, but we'll see. We'll see if I, how I feel. <laughs> Let's see how I feel about that in March. So remember, next month I put this in your newsletter. In March we will be going one hour earlier. So just double check your calendar um, and double check your emails because I did let you know that we would be starting one hour earlier next month because I have a conflicting appointment in the afternoon. It's going to be a busy weekend for me for sure. All right, so if you want to get started with the challenge, let's go ahead and open up in prayer together if you wouldn't mind joining me, bowing your heads in prayer. Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to come before you today, Lord. As we know that you direct our steps, Lord, will we focus on your will in our life each and every moment? And will we just um, bring all the things to you, Lord, all the hurt, all the struggles, all the joy, all the excitement, all of our life we bring to you, Lord, and ask you to direct our steps. I pray this time honors and glorifies you, this wonderful time of worship. We bring praise to you, Lord, because you are our Savior and we love you. And we just pray that this time honors and glorifies you. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so let's get started with our uh, with our challenge today. So I'm going to be reading out of, just real quickly, <laughs> my CSB version, Bible. And again, it's a proverb. This whole year we're focused on Proverbs. So this proverb says, a person's heart plans its way, but the Lord directs his steps. This is just my Bible journaling that I did for this a while back. So <laughs> I love the little feet on here. So for my challenge time, I want to do something super simple and easy so that we don't, you know, so that we know how quick and easy these challenges can be done. I want to try to demonstrate that with you as best as I can. So, with our mini challenges, there are no steps. With our mini challenge, it just says use it in any way. So I'm going to go ahead and use mine in any way. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Lori. Lori says she loves this kit and she prays for each person here. Thank you so much, Lori. We appreciate that. So, when you're using... For the washi challenge, you can use obviously the washi that you have, but what I've done is I've cut my washi tape out with my Cricut. So I would just, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to add some washi and create a nice background. That's my plan. Hopefully it works out. Let me just stick this here so I can have that stuck down. So our mini challenges are designed for you guys to be able just to quickly get in here and worship the Lord with your beautiful art that you make and um, give him some praise and love and then think about it right so let's think about our verse today a heart a person's heart plans his way well what does that mean well I can tell you that <laughs> this might be a little too personal for some of you guys but I'll just go ahead and share because you know I do I'm going through perimenopause and boy has this been really hard for me and I have so many plans in my heart. I have so many things that I want to do and things that, you know, um, I have plans. <laughs> There's all these activities that I want to do. And then sometimes in this journey of walking through this body of mine that's changing, um, it can be a little frustrating. You know, um, sometimes I don't get to sleep well at night. 
Um, the other night I woke up six times, if you can believe it. I woke up six times to change my nightgown because that is uh, kind of the journey that sometimes some women go on when they're going through this phase of their or the season of their life. Six times I woke up. So um, needless to say, the next day I was none too ready to start the day. <laughs> I was quite um, exhausted and tired from the lack of sleep. So all my plans <laughs> for that day, well, they didn't quite happen the way I had planned them to happen. Instead, um, I took a day of rest to kind of help my body to kind of catch up with itself. And so I didn't get to do all the, the things I, I had planned to do. Oh, I'm going to do this one here, like a little bit to the right, so I can get some of that uh, ripped washy look on this side too. I have it all here, but I've been talking, and so I didn't think I, I, I just uh, didn't think about kind of alternating it, but I will do it there. Um, so anyways, all to say, that day, I took a, more of a rest day because I just wasn't, mentally or physically able to do all the things that were on my list to do that day. So in the morning when I woke, well, after I woke up like the seventh time, right in the morning, I got my Bible out, I read it, and then I just asked God to direct my steps. So I was like, okay, gosh, God, I have all these things that I want to get done because, you know, Faith Inspirations needs to get their printables. You know, Bible Journaling Ministries needs to get their printables and our videos need to be made and all the things with videos have to be edited, you know, all the things that we want to do. And I just was, I couldn't do it. I was just, my body just wasn't cooperating. And so with that, I gave praise and thanks to the Lord. I did my Bible reading in the morning and then I just told him, is there any way I can glorify you today, God? And I really do believe by taking that day off, um, and just resting and rejuvenating this body that I was taking care of the body that he gave me. Um, and we know that we have read in the Bible that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we do need to take care of our bodies. And so some days um, we're not going to do what we plan to do. And instead, God wants us to maybe take a break, as he did with me, and take care of the body that he gave me and rest it. And so that's what I did. And um, I believe truly that I glorify God that day in my body and in his will. And so that's kind of a thought for today as we think through, you know, planning our ways and, and all the things that we want to do. And then, you know, try not to be so disappointed when we can't do all the things that we want to do, right? <laughs> or that we had planned to do. So I'm going to grab my little footprint stickers here. And they're just super cute. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to put one right here. And then I'm going to put one like right here. And uh, do you see how easy this challenge can be? Because I'm literally talking to you guys at the same time and doing this together. Oh, Sue, good to see you. Um, Sue has said, so glad to hear you, Tracy. Hope all is well and your travels have been successful. Sue, my travels have been non-existent, really, babe. Um, our van has been, again, this is one of those things, right, where <laughs> this is not my plan, but God is directing my steps. Our van has been in the shop for um, since October, since before Halloween. So it has been in the shop. I've got about, I think the bill right now is running about $10,000 that he needs. But yes, so we have replaced multiple things in the van and um, so I haven't really been able to enjoy the wonderful van life that I had been enjoying um, earlier last year in middle of last year um, instead we've been waiting on parts and labor to get things resolved and I, the turbo went out on, on it so basically it went into limp mode and then after they replaced the turbo I think that was like 40 $4,100. And so we went to go get that. The van um, on the way home threw another engine light. So we immediately turned around and sent it back to our mechanic. And after that, it has been engine light after engine light after engine light. And it's still not home. 
And I think I told Lonnie that I just don't know how many more engine lights we can work through because I think my limit, I think I'm at my limit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm praying to God to direct my steps for sure in this one because um, my goodness, I had not anticipated it um, to be that. But I will tell you that when we purchased the van, we did buy it really cheap. Um, I it had a lot of miles on it. I'm very aware um, that that it we were we were aware that it would it, it may have issues, um, but unfortunately, uh, what we're finding is that whoever sold it to me, um, and I did by the way for those of you guys are who are wondering, uh, why didn't you go get that checked out before you bought it? I did. The problem is is not everything can be found on an inspection. They can see the, the stuff that is easy to see and they can run the diagnostics. But sometimes when you open up the engine and you start fixing things, it causes more problems. So it turns out the person who sold it to me or maybe the one before him, I'm not really sure, someone along the way had just kind of cobbled it together. And um, unfortunately for me, that just means I'm left with trying to figure out how to fix it. <laughs> So we have been replacing part after part after part. I think the fuel line now has been replaced too. And I think we're finally getting close to the end of this journey. It, it, it seems positive. And here's the pot. Let me tell you the, the amazing positive. Um, because um, it's such a high bill, um, it's been in there so long that Lonnie and I have buckled down and we're going to be able to pay for this right out of our cash <laughs> so it's like it's like when you go through something like this sometimes you go oh my gosh how am I going to make that payment right um it's it's not easy to do that sometimes Woo! what am I doing here it's all curling up uh, so good news is because it's been three months we've been diligently not buying thing all the things <laughs> We did take a loan out on a car though, just, just to let you know. We did buy a new car, so got a loan on that. But like in terms of like cash flow, uh, we're I think we're gonna be able to just we're gonna be able to pay him. He would have been fine with us doing payments as well, but I I, I I like to so all to say, to God be the glory for his provision always. He is amazing. And um, that is what's going on with the van. So no travels have not <laughs> have not been um, the way we had planned them to be. However, um, we have been delighting in some travel as well. So it has been awesome. <laughs> Let's see what you guys are saying. I love the feet and need to print them off. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, Sue, it can be crazy, right? Right. Oh, Deborah says, been there, done that, wasn't fun. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing you're talking about perimenopause. Oh, you too, Deborah. <laughs> too, both my Deborah friends are like me too. I don't miss those kinds of night sweats. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, good, Sue. So maybe in May you're going to be in Cottonwood. I don't know where I'm. I'm planning on if we can get the van right. Um, if we can get the van working. <laughs> when we get the van working, I would love during the summer to go to North Dakota. That's my plan. Uh, I'd like to do kind of a um, circle around North, like go up through maybe Colorado, up through um, up through Colorado, maybe uh, was is it Wyoming through Wyoming um, to Badlands then in South Dakota up to North Dakota, and then kind of head east a little bit and circle back around to Arizona. A man's heart plans his course. So I'm just actually right now, I'm just putting, putting the word Fetty on here, you guys. Um, there we go. But Yahweh directs his steps. There we go. That's all I'm doing right now. See how easy this challenge is this month? You guys are going to be so happy. <laughs> you probably finish it by the time we're done with this live. And then you can... If you're if you haven't done January, you can go back to January. <laughs> J 
January was super fun with the gel press and Lori's videos were amazing. So I hope you guys enjoy those. She's so awesome. She's been a member of our community for a while and I love that she comes and, and just shares her heart with you. Sometimes in our videos, we can uh, share a little overshare, <laughs> but that's what family's about, right? <laughs> Y'all are my family. I'm going to overshare it with you probably too much. <laughs> oh, let's see. Up through Utah. Um, <laughs> the plan is actually Colorado, but if we were supposed to go to Utah, it was it, we had tickets to a van fest there in October, and um, my plan was to stop by, Sue. <laughs> <laughs> then the van went in the shop and never came back out. So, um, yeah, that's the second time I've tried to come see you. It's just not working. <laughs> okay, question. Um, Shallon says, I need private lessons on how to make washi smaller in the PNG file. Oh, in the Silhouette Machine, all you do, Shallon, is just upload the... Um, you can actually, in the Silhouette Machine, you can actually... If you have the design, the designer series, um, you can actually just upload the PNG there and then drag the corners to make it smaller on the canvas and then just move it however you want. So Silhouette, super easy, super flexible. With the Cricut, on the other hand, in design space, you have to like really um, get, you know, you, you convert it to the PNG like I showed you earlier in the video. Then you just kind of adjust, you know, put your your um, cursor on the corner and then adjust the PNG files until you can get them all to fit on a page. And then um, you actually don't even need to do that in the design part of Cricut Design Space. In the make side is where you can move them around as, as well. So I did a little bit of a tutorial on how I, uh, how I use the new Cricut Ec Extra Joy, Cricut Joy Extra that I got um, in, the, in a video on YouTube. So check that out if you haven't had a chance to check that out and you're curious about the Cricut. Um, and I know that I did one on the Silhouette and that's on the Bible Journaling Ministries blog. So hopefully that is somewhat helpful. Um, oh, you are. That's right. So you're on the corner of Colorado. Okay. Well, I'll talk to Lonnie about it when hopefully we get our van and then uh, maybe we could go up that way. Good point. Thank you for that. Yeah. But, uh, Shallon, if you don't have the designer edition of the Silhouette, then just convert from PDF to PNG like I showed you today, and then you should be able to, to drag it smaller or bigger in the actual Silhouette Studio. Great question. Uh, okay, what are you guys saying here? Aww, that's so sweet. Deborah says, that's what it is for me. Family, I have just a few and not nearby. My online Christian friends are my family. Yeah, yes we are. That's great. I love that. Okay, good, Shell. I'm glad that really helped you. Yay, okay. Let's see, did I miss any more questions? Mm. Oh, Arlene. Yeah, it was most definitely an Arlene. Arlene, it was most definitely a trial. <laughs> All the trials we go through, right? So I like this so far, and I could be done, but I want to do a little something more. Something, something. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to go just a little bit. We always say that we can use, um, we use our colors, right? We use, we can use any of these colors here, um, or you can use black and white. So I'm going to use black, and I'm going to use an acrylic paint Posca pen. I love my Posca pens. And um, I'm just going to do a little bit of kind of outlining just to kind of pop things. And then I'm going to see where I am from there. Because I feel like there are some hearts on this page, but I might want more. And you guys know me with my art. I go a little bit over and beyond. Um, even though my word of this year is simplify, maybe not, maybe I'm not, maybe I need to simplify more in my art these days. But look how simple and easy this is, you guys. We've only been doing this for half an hour, and I'm almost done. So if you guys want me to do another one, I can. Just let me know. I can. Um, we can do another one of these together if you like. Just let me know. I've got some time. Okay, so man's heart plans his course, but Yahweh directs his steps. Oh, I just love this. So um, I might do... Hmm. I kind of like this. So I'm just going to leave it. 
<laughs> Sometimes I can go crazy. I'll come in here, I'll do doodles and things like that, but I really like the simplicity of this. So I'm gonna call this done. If you guys wanna do another one with me, just let me know in the comments and I'll do another one. Otherwise we'll leave, we'll end the live super early. <laughs> That'll be a, that's a record for, this is a record for me in terms of, <laughs> in terms of actually doing the challenge this quickly. I hope this at least encourages some of you guys who feel who might be watching this on the replay in the future, um, you know, dive deep, just go grab yours and, and dive deep into this fun worship of the Lord together. <laughs> and then you can see how quick and easy it is to do this month's challenge. It's su it is super easy and super simple. Okay, I'm trying to get my little challenge card out here too. Let's see. Okay, I'm not seeing that you guys want to do another one yet. Let me know in the comments if you do want to do another one. Or if you just prefer that we leave we end the live early, that's okay as well. Or we can do questions and answers, no problem. Like if you guys have any questions or, you know, do you want to talk about any kind of supplies or anything like that, we do have still some time. I'm happy to do that. So this is my challenge, and I can go ahead and date it today, February 1st. It's going to go 2, 1, 24. Maybe I'll make those into hearts since we're all. But yeah, I like this. I'm happy. I'm super happy with this. Oh, um, yeah. Deborah, the feet are located in your library. So if you if you fast um, watch the replay here, I did a whole walkthrough on how to get the feet. So in Faith Inspirations, you get your challenge. And this is the challenge. But then in our library, I always give you guys another extra. So you can just go grab that one. This is going to be in the library. So it's not necessarily you don't have to do it with a challenge, but I just loved it with a challenge. So it really worked for me. How about you come to the Oregon coast in your van? Deborah, as soon as the van actually works, <laughs> Oregon might be on the list. I've been to Oregon multiple times. I used to work for a company called in Intel um, as an engineer for them. And I used to go to Portland all the time for them. And it was always rainy. <laughs> so I'm not sure how fun that would be, but I definitely could think about it. Oh, you got them? Oh, good, Deborah. I'm so glad. Um... Oh, Arlene wants to know, is it easier for you if we are if we all go on Facebook for these streams? Actually, Arlene, um, it's fine um, to do any of this. Any, it, It's not easier or, or not any more or less easier for me um, because I have a tool that allows me to see the comments um, in front of me from both YouTube and Facebook. Uh, the only problem with Facebook is sometimes I don't know who's saying it because it'll give me like a anonymous face on there. So then I can look and see. All right, so it doesn't look like you guys are wanting another one. So do you have any questions in general about mixed media that I can answer? Oh, Pennsylvania. <gasps> oh, Nikki, it most definitely is on the list. I will tell you right now that Lonnie, Lonnie wants to go to Pennsylvania like yesterday. He's got a friend there that, and, and his friend visited, came to visit us last year and, um, we made him dinner. It was so fun. And he had met his, this friend on playing a game online. <laughs> so now they're the best of buddies and they pray together and it's really great. Um, so yeah, it's that Pennsylvania is definitely on the list. <laughs> oh, Southern Oregon coast. No on Portland. Okay. So I, I must, yeah, I must not have ever made it to the Southern Oregon coast. <laughs> Okay, here's what I'll do. If I decide to go to Portland, I'll post it in the Facebook group. And then you guys could just meet me up somewhere. That sounds good, right? <laughs> that sounds so fun. I love this. Okay, let's see. Do you have any more questions? We're just going to talk about travel. Let's talk about travel. Let's talk about fun new things. <laughs> How exciting. All kinds of news. I'm actually planning to hit up um, 
do a quick day trip to Tucson tomorrow um, to look at something and to sign some paperwork paperwork on something that I will share with you guys later. later. <laughs> but it's small. It's nothing big. <laughs> you really need to come to Washington and Sierra Mountain. Washington is beautiful. I have been to Seattle twi three times already um, and it's beautiful. I love it. I love, I do love Washington and Oregon. Uh, Washington has a special place in my heart. My my auntie used to live there in like the forest area of, I, don't know, I, think, I think all of Washington is foresty. So I don't know where exactly she was because I was like eight or nine at the time. I was young. Um, but we used to go picking blackberries. I bet it's all, I bet it's all developed now because back in the day, um, we just w would, it was just nothing but woods by our house. And we would just pick blackberries and raspberries and, you know, didn't care, didn't have a care in the wor world. And then she, she baked them into a pie and it was amazing. So I have very good memories of Washington. Absolutely. But no on Seattle. <laughs> You'll show me the good stuff. <laughs> okay, Deborah, I'll, I'll, I will, uh, I will hold you to it. Teresa says, thank you for your time and talent. I enjoyed our time. Thank you so much, Teresa. I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. This is probably the fastest live of my life. <laughs> Shallon, Kentucky. It's definitely, it's definitely on the list. You know this. Um, one of the things I want to see in Kentucky is the Ark. I just think that would be amazing to see the Ark. All right. So I love you guys. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. This was a super simple, quick and easy faith inspirations time and I'm going to give you guys back 20 minutes of your life. <laughs> I will see you next month as we have fun with our March challenge, which will be a mega kit. So it will definitely take the full time, but it looks like for the mini kit, it was super simple, easy, and quick. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful month. And I can't wait to see you next month. All right. I'll see you in the Facebook group if you're there. Otherwise, I'll see you live next month. Okay, bye. <laughs>